consider verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers, such as first and last name and date of birth, place your patient in a supine position with their head settled in the head holder and their arms resting along their body. Center the internal axial plane laser light on the appropriate landmark. Here we use the external auditory meatus or EAM. Make sure that the lateral laser light is at the mid-coronal plane of the neck and that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. To help your patient maintain the position, you can place a restraint strap on their chin or their forehead. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as the use of a rub with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify that the pre-filled information is correct and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is head first. After checking the scan parameters, click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and then initiate the acquisition when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain the lateral view. Click on Next Series. On the lateral localizer, place your slices box in such a way as to cover the cervical spine from the external auditory meatus superiorly to the T1, T2 disc inferiorly. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. The system may warn you about the risk of the tube overheating, considering the pre-filled acquisition parameters. If the acquisition parameters are correct, you must increase the acquisition time when possible to avoid image quality loss due to decrease in MA. In this case, the reduction proposed by the system represents only 5 MA and will not affect the image quality. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of a cervical spine, CT, you will need at least two reconstructions. A smooth reconstruction filter is used for the soft tissue data set and a sharper or edge enhancement reconstruction for bone. In order to reduce the metal artifacts, add a reconstruction with metal artifact reduction or MAR for a visualization with a smooth filter for tissues and also on the sharper or edge enhancement filter. It is recommended that you keep a reconstruction, here it would be the first one, without MAR, in order to first evaluate the efficiency of the algorithm, but also to allow the radiologist to compare the images with and without MAR in case of doubt. Before continuing, click that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and proceed to the acquisition when the buttons flash. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition and that all pertinent anatomy is covered. Click on End Exam. 
In a cervical spine CT scan, a multi-planar reconstruction in coronal and sagittal for soft tissue and bone will often be required. Occasionally, 3D will also be required at the radiologist's discretion. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them that they can get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated by your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.